Hey guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual. God bless you all. Welcome to my channel, the Real Love Festival Survival Channel. You may be asking yourself, why is all your gear all unorganized and not in the box? Well, stick around and I'll show you what I've been up to. Welcome back, thumbs up from me guys and girls. So you may be asking yourself how comes all your stuff's not in the box, what you've been up to. Well basically what I've been doing, I've been taking out stuff, uh, just show you a little example. I've been taking out stuff and putting other stuff in this box right here. Basically what I've done, I took out things that were like coming to their use by date. This was kind of like 7th of 2019, the peanut butter. I'm going to put in more peanut butter in there for 2020. And so taking out this one here, uh, taking out the lentils, because that's got a use-by date of August 2019. Things like the chickpeas, uh, some canned tomatoes. So basically all the stuff that's got to be used by around about uh, 8th of this month, or 8th of uh, 2019 I've been putting all the gear in this little box right here and over this side excuse my back guys and girls I've been putting in more tin stuff okay got some tin carrots loads of tin carrots right here now these are good until 2020 so basically what I've been doing is taking stuff that's got a use by date of 2019 Although people out there may well say that you can use it well past that, I'm just going to keep to the dates. And uh, so basically, what I've done is I've got I've got more carrots. I've been buying loads of tins of carrots right here, and these are good to 2020. And things like mushrooms, mushrooms, carrots, uh, more carrots. There we go. What else have I got in here? These are peas, so I've got to sell some peas. And what I'm going to be doing, okay, guys and girls, I'm going to be putting this stuff in the box, okay? So I'm making the box basically ready for 2020, okay? So it's been, this box was prepared for this winter, and basically the stuff that's like, like I was saying earlier, is to be used within, um, within a few months. So I took that stuff out. And I'm putting a load of stuff back in there, guys and girls. Okay, guys and girls. So basically, I've removed um, a lot of the stuff that has got to be used this year. Okay, although I could have just left it as it was and start preparing the box from uh, summer this year. I've decided to just make it ready for 2020. Why not? You know, I've got the box out. I've been going through it, been checking it up. And this box was for 2019 and we're in February now. So another thing that I've been checking on is the pasta. So basically this, this pasta for example has got a use by date of May 2019. Okay, so basically I've decided to take out this spaghetti and put in some pasta here. As you can see, November 2020. So basically I'm preparing the box for 2020, so like I said, I'm going to take out this pasta, okay, uh, this one here is also, for. let me check it, yeah, this one is also for, two, uh, for, for September 2019, I could have kept it in there, but basically I'm going to take it out, use this one in May, use this one as well after that, and put it into the box, like I just showed you a little while ago, and replace it with 
this pasta here which is 2020 okay guys and girls um, another thing I've been doing I've been adding more stuff like I just showed you some carrots these are good for 2020 basically taking all the tins out that are to be used soon okay this year up to September and um, just basically replacing it and adding things more stuff like kidney beans so I've got more kidney beans in this in this box okay as you saw in part two I've got a load of chickpeas okay so these chickpeas are good until let me check the date 2021 guys and girls so it's not only good for 2020 this is also good up until 2021 guys so it's good to think ahead okay you know check your preps check to see what you've got more chickpeas and as you saw in the box that I just showed you a little while ago I took out these chickpeas so I've got a load of chickpeas in here as well I may get myself another bag of these chickpeas and put them either in the box or in another box okay moving on guys and girls yeah so I've got a load more sweet corn in tins as well you want to make sure you've got some vegetables to go with the rice and the pasta as you saw I've got loads of tomato sauce I showed a lot of tomato sauce in in um, part two but another thing I didn't talk about in part two right at the very bottom of the box I had things like tin fruit okay some people maybe might have been asking what happened to your tin fruit okay so I've been putting things like pineapple slices in fruit juice um, I've been put, adding things like Waitrose excuse me essential Waitrose uh, that's the supermarket but rice pudding okay let me just check the date on that and that's good actually until December 2019 so that's nearly a year okay 10 months and a bit maybe so I've decided to keep that in there because uh, I've got a few more of these in my cupboard anyway okay things like pineapple chunks and this has got a date of 2021 on it so that's you know good until 2021 so I've been putting more things like fruit so as well as having tomato sauce carrots peas sweet corn lentils I'll come to the lentils in a bit don't forget your fruit guys and girls also some jam fruit jam to go with the um, the rice pudding or with the pita bread that I've been showing you don't forget your spices guys and girls so I'll be putting the spices back in here okay moving on so basically what I've decided to do with the box is put all the canned stuff on this side all the spices salt pepper and stuff like that on this side um, I've got myself another load of um, sardines and mackerel again making sure the dates 2020 okay these ones a couple of these are 2021 even All right so what I'm going to do is put them down the back there and pile them up there okay uh, so I've decided to put the tin stuff on this side spices salt pepper and uh, some some Tesco's and Sainsbury sardines and mackerels and I've decided to put the pasta all on this side okay so basically um, if, you know I know all the pasta couscous um, rice is all on the left hand side of the box okay guys and girls uh, what I'll actually do is move the box over a little bit okay let me just check that you can see that so basically yeah I've got all the rice pastas sugar couscous all on this side and I've got all the tin stuff on that side so moving on I've also decided to get some for the box some lemon juice okay uh, made from 20 32 lemons and again this has got a date on it of let me just check 2020 okay so again preparing the box for 2020 I'll stick that down the back there okay with the sardines and the salt uh, what else have I got okay uh, like I said I was going to get more lentils so I'm going to stick the lentils in on this side as well let me just make some room down here okay so get everything nicely packed in there okay oh, that's fine so I've got my lentils uh, excuse me I've also got another bag of lentils which is going to go in my kitchen in the container okay I showed you the containers in part two so I've got a bag of lentils in there and the date on these lentils October 2020 okay guys and girls so I'm thinking ahead 
I'm going to stick one of these in the cupboard. I'm going to use up the lentils that I've got in the container already and have this to, to put in that container. All right, guys and girls, moving on. So as you can see, the, the room started to started to run out of room again, but it's always good to get organized. I've got my mashed potato. Uh, I, took, I went and got another box of mashed potato. So basically making more room in here, more instant mash to go inside here. I've got myself more tea bags, got another box of tea bags to go in here. Now I do have the sugar in here as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm running out of space guys and girls. So yeah, just find any nook and cranny that you can. More coffee to go with the coffee that I already had in here. Again, the dates on these are 2020 and I believe this one here is actually, yeah, this is 2020 as well. So I might as well go ahead and stick that in there. Let me see if I can make some room. Actually, let me just move the tins to the side. Okay, guys and girls, and stick the coffee down there. Now you've got to be careful with glass stuff, okay? So remember that some of the stuff could be a bit fragile. I haven't put this in a place where it's going to break. I put it next to the lemon there, uh, the lemon squash. So basically another another pot of co another box of coffee to go with that coffee. Um, what else have I got in here? The soup. Remembering to put stuff as well that will help you, you know, replenish your bug out bag if need be. Okay, guys and girls. Now I do have the addition of the black boxes. So the people, the other storage boxes, excuse me. So the people that have been following along, you know that I've got other boxes as well. Okay, now, what have I done here? I've got to make some space for this honey. So let me just take out some of this stuff here. And perhaps I can make some room for this honey down here somewhere. Yep, I can. Make some tins that will just go there. Now, it's a bit, it's getting a bit tight now. But, let me just see. I move the sweet corn out of the way. I can put this big tin of honey down inside there. Now I'm packing it really tight, making sure that you get everything inside the box. And you know, anyway, if you have to move stuff out just to make space, then that's what you've got to do. Right, so I've got my honey in there. I've got my tin food in there. Okay. Also, what I'm going to stick in here is a bag of semolina. Now, I might be able to get it on that side. No, it won't go on that side. What I do is I stick it down in here, and also uh, a non Z uh, was saying um, crackers. So there you go, some crackers to go with the peanut butter. So I'll stick that in there as well. Uh, let me see if I can make some space. Stick that in there, stick like that, like that. Well, wow, basically, I'm running out of space, guys and girls. Right, so anyway, just move things around a little bit. Okay, and you just have to make that space. Alright, so you can see I've been adding additions in here. Perhaps I can get another packet of crackers in there. No. Okay, let me have a look where I can put them. Um, okay, no problem. So that's what we're talking about, making space, making room. If I put that like that, put that over there, put that like that. Okay, get it, squeeze it inside nicely. Alright, see so if I make some space right there for the crackers. Alright, now, there you go. Not bad. Get in there, guys and girls. So maybe if I undo these tins like so, squeeze them in there. And as you can see, I've also removed the toilet paper. I've decided to move the toilet paper, from, remove the toilet paper from this box as well. And then I'm going to fit in the noodles. So there we go, I've got the noodles at the top there. Okay, now what else? Okay guys and girls, uh, Grey Scout Tactical said to me about milk, I did have another one, I had one of these in my cupboard, okay, but it's got to be used by May 2019, so I decided to also take this UHT milk out and get another UHT milk right there. Now I'm running out of space, now what I'm going to do, as soon as I've got plenty of pasta in this box, I've got another bag, a couple of bags of pasta the other day, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a couple of bags of pasta because I've got plenty of pasta in here already. So I'm going to put them in my cupboard um, and I'm going to put this UHT skim milk as well in here as well. Okay, so I've got some milk in here. Uh, other talking about milk, I've got some carnation milk. Um, I've actually had to take out the coffee mate, so that's on my shopping list. 
This has also got to be used by, let me just check the date on that, uh, April 2019. So this coffee mate's got to come out. So I'm going to stick in the UHT skim milk in here. And I'm going to get myself another, leaving a little bit of space in here for a coffee, coffee mate. Well, I'll make the space. And also, I've got some carnation evaporated milk right there. So I'll stick that in there as well. Now, be careful when you do actually try and make room to stick stuff in. Okay, that you don't damage any of the packaging. Also, talking about milk, I've got dry skim milk, which is fantastic. You basically add 220 uh, grams of this to some water, 200 ml of water, and that way you're making up a nice bit of milk. So in here I've got 300 grams, so I can actually basically get uh, plenty of milk from that as well. Okay, guys and girls, so yeah, so 200 grams and 20 grams add to 200 ml of water and you know you'll have a nice bit of milk there okay guys and girls so the bag of that goes in there as well okay what else guys and girls um, a spare tin opener uh, I bought, bought a couple of these the other day just spare not fancy ones just normal tin opener but a lot of these tins these days have got their kind of pull off tin uh, tops as well but anyway just in case I'll whack one of those in there don't forget to add your lights in there as well with your battery at the top so that you can see what you're doing and um, what else am I going to add in here, a little candle ok guys and girls, so this box is ready for 2020 and some of the stuff in here is actually till 2021 which is fantastic now you might want to add some little snacks in there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this snack to my mountain house box food that, you know, to replenish my bug out bag I could add one of these in here as well so while I'm on camera I might as well stick that on there I did buy four more but I've eaten them they're really delicious and basically um, I've also got to make some room for the semolina okay guys and girls so what I'll do I'll make some room for that and come back to you so there we have it guys and girls I made some room for the semolina right there and um, what I've decided to do was well I was going to actually take out the noodles and put them in with a the mountain house but I actually discovered that I could make a little bit more room now while we're here let me just see if I can close this nicely and the good thing about this box um, let me just see if you can see that I'll show you actually on the on your right hand side these boxes basically come with these catches so it just locks the lid down right here guys and girls if you can see that here basically locks it the lid nice and tight down so there we have it guys and girls a winter box ready for 2021 uh, 2020 okay remembering to put your light at the top your batteries at the top and I actually have got a little bit more space in here if I wanted to I can put some maybe some dog snacks um, if I wanted to but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in a little bit and talk to you a little bit later on in the video about dog food okay guys and girls okay I could actually squeeze these dog snacks right in here if I wanted to in fact what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave those in here for the now okay guys and girls so there we have it the box is ready for 2020 but before I go into the next bit I've took this box out as well okay in part two you may well have seen me pull this box out it's got some hygiene stuff Okay, it's got a spare razor, some, I've actually added some hand sanitizer, scouring pads, a couple more candles, toothbrush, and it's stuff like that, shaving cream, and some soap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box out, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stuff in another box, one of those boxes that I showed you, one of these ones that I got from the pound store, and I'll show you what I've been doing with that. So bear with me guys, and... Uh, I'll show you what I've done with this stuff right here. Okay guys and girls, so basically I've taken out this box from the winter box. Uh, it was taking up a bit of space, but also I decided to have another little box to go with the bit winter box. Okay, more prepping. Uh, it can be a bit of a nightmare, so it's good to get on top of it guys and girls. Make sure you check your preps. So basically what I've done, got myself a load of, of wet wipes. Okay, so I've got four packets in here already. 
Uh, I've got some more down here. So basically what I do is I stuff them in the box, okay? You can't have enough wet wipes. If I need one for my bug out bag, I can also get one out of here. If water's the issue, <coughs> excuse me, you haven't got a lot of water, um, you know, basically you can use these for hygiene, okay? Good old wet wipes. Right, so I stick a load of those in there. Now, uh, I had this razor blade that was in the, the cardboard box, that was in the winter box. So I'll make some room. You know, that's another thing, trying to get some room, guys and girls. Scouring pads, a couple more candles in here. Um, I could actually take the candles out, but I decided to leave them in here as well, in the hygiene, just in case you want to have a candle and clean yourself in candlelight. All right, guys and girls. Right, what else we got? So yeah, two lots of toothpaste to go in this. I did have just one in this kit, but seeing as I've got another bigger box than the cardboard shoe box I was using, I might as well stick two toothpaste in there. Okay, so basically let me put them right down the bottom. Now space is an issue, like I was saying my flat's not a big flat. So some toothbrushes, a load of those in here. Okay guys and girls, uh, some, some more shampoo right here in little sachets. I can also, if I need these for my bug out bag, I just go into this box and I get, grab a couple of these little shampoo sachets right here. Now, um, what else? Another toothbrush, I'll put it in last actually, just in case I want to just get that from the top, okay, toothbrush, um, some soap, okay, more soap in here, uh, some, some liquid in this box as well, uh, I can stick that perhaps right there, some shaving gel, stick that in there, hand sanitizer, I've got a few more of these around, jotted around the place, but I'll have a spare one in here for the winter, and I mean, it's not just a winter box, I mean, it's all year round, really, okay? I mean, you don't have to use it just in winter time, but it's good at winter time to have extra stuff in your house just in case. But it's also part of my prepping solution. So, you know, why not have a few bits and bobs of extra stuff? Uh, some hair repair vital oils for hair and scalp, just in case your hair gets really bad because it's not you haven't been washing as much as you used, you, you, you used to wash in. Perhaps there's not a lot of water. Perhaps, you know, so basically some hair repair vital oils for hair and scalp right there, which is handy. Okay, um, shower gel, okay, reviving shower gel right there, guys and girls. Some cotton buds for the ears, okay, and other stuff. You can put these in your bug out bags as well, okay, so a nice little tub of cotton buds right there. In America, you call them Q-tips. Okay, guys and girls, moving on. Also essential oils, right here I've got some eucalyptus, even if you just want to smell it, even if you just want to smell it just to give you a little pick me up, some essential oils, so this is just one in here just as an example, I'm just giving you ideas guys and girls, okay, because I've got a lot of stuff, uh, also stuff like body, body butter, um, coconut oil, uh, cream right here, you know your skin might be dry, so you can use that for your hand, you can use that for your elbows, your knees, etc. Okay, guys and girls, also, you want something for your teeth as well. Contains toothbrush, another toothbrush, mirror, uh, pick, stain eraser, and eight times toothpicks, okay? Uh, so, yeah, it's always, always good to have something for your teeth, okay, as well as toothbrake paste. Now, in the first aid kit, I do have some painkillers and, and stuff like that, but I'll come to that in a little while. Right, guys and girls, so losing my space now. So, there we have it, guys. Now... I could actually, let me just sort of squash that down a little bit. I could actually add some more tissues, classic Kleenex in here as well. Okay, now I use those in my bug out bags. So it makes sense to have a few more here. Okay, yep, they're fitting in there nicely. And I've got a couple of these little packets as well, which I use in my bug out bags as well. So stuff them in here. Let me see if I can make some space. Right, guys and girls, yeah, it's fitting in there nicely. And just another little small packet of tissues, okay, with just 10 tissues in here, which I can also squeeze down in here. Now, I think that box is fine now. So basically, don't forget your little notepad, your pen. Just jot down what you've got in here, okay. Stick it on the side of the box, so that way you're not searching through the boxes, um, trying to figure out where, where's your kit. Okay, so moving on. Right, now first aid, 
Very important to have plenty of first aid stuff in your prepping gear. Um, I did have this little bag in the winter box, but this was just basically an example. Uh, you can add, add stuff to it, add other medication, paracetamols, um, uh, you know, but sting relief, diarrhea tablets, or other little bits and pieces, your own meds that you want. So basically what I've actually got, I've got one of these boxes uh, full of stuff in here, conforming bandages, um, like dressing pads, okay, um, plasters, some tape, um, more plasters, another load more plasters in here, and I've also got other things in here, like uh, I've got one of these, fully automatic blood pressure monitor, okay, it's very handy to have ready to go for an emergency situation you know it's always you know we're not just prepping for ourselves we're prepping for other people if something happens you might have someone a neighbor that's in trouble in distress you might have someone in your block that's in distress elderly people you know and you just want to check their blood pressure I've got one of these in here as well along with more painkillers in here um, another one of these okay this is a brand new one okay this is for resuscitation Okay, so that's in there as well, that's brand new. So this is also part of the, you know, emergency winter box. Okay, so I've got one of these, let me try and get it back in the bag. Now I'm going to try and not make the video so long this one, the last one I believe was 40 minutes. Um, so basically other things in here, I've got an Evo Haler. Uh, this is basically if someone's got problems with breathing, if they've got asthmatic, I've got a few of these in here okay so your regular stuff that you have in the first aid okay things like diarrhea relief uh, chesty cough now I do believe someone in the comment section on the part two was saying some lemsip so that's on my list okay thank you for the the person who made that comment okay sometimes I can't remember and I didn't write it down so forgive me for not doing that so yeah I've got to get some lemsip in this one so basically I've got allergy relief right here I've got some more inhalers right here as well, another inhaler, I'll stick the stuff in as I'm talking, chesty cough pastels right in here, okay, now don't forget things like your creams, right, you might have some, this is a, this is a basically a uh, painkiller cream, okay, uh, what else have I got here, some other of my own creams that I use, okay, you might want to stick some Vaseline in here, a large jar of Vaseline, I find some space now as I'm you know recording it I don't want to take too much time with this video what else have I got in here some diarrhea tablets so basically uh, some antiseptic wipes right here okay and some more painkillers let's see if I can fit that in here as well yep I can and also as soon as you, you might be taking painkillers also get the the gastro resistant capsules as well handy to have right now this is the first aid box now you've got regular stuff in here, your bandages, your plasters, I do have things like Israeli bandages, I do have a, um, for my bug out bag, I have a trauma kit, uh, basically I haven't got the trauma kit here, but I do now, so here we go, I've got my, um, this is my IFAC that I put in my bug out bag, so that's available, that's with me as well. So in there I've got Israeli bandage, I've got the, the scissors in there, okay, the, the, the trauma, trauma scissors in there. So, you know, remember your first aid stuff, guys and girls. Very important to have your first aid. Now, I could just whack that on the top here, okay. So this box basically is good to go. I've checked all the dates. This is also good to 2020 plus. Some of the stuff in here is good for 2021. And some of the stuff here is good for 2022. Right, now another thing I do, uh, last thing I wanted to show you with the first aid. These are expandable towels, just add a few drops of water and uh, these expand out. And what I also do is I put them in smaller packs and I put them in my bug out bag. Now my dog CJ, he's making a lot of noise, so forgive that in the background guys and girls. So here we have little smaller bags with these expandable towels in them as well. So basically this box is ready to go. Okay, let me just have a quick little look around the table. Also, you can get these hand towels as well. So, it's up to you. You can put some in this box here. You can put some in the, the hygiene box. It's up to you. You can put some in your winter box as well. You might want to clean stuff. And basically, to go with that, 
I'll show you another little solution for cleaning your plates and stuff. Now, it's here somewhere. Here it is, guys and girls. So basically, a surface cleaner, Dettol antibacterial. Okay, so if you if you do decide to use your plates and you wanted something to clean them with, I suppose you could get away with using this and maybe some tissue and wiping off the stuff off your plates. Otherwise, you can use just disposable plates. But like I was saying, with these towels, they expand out. You just use water, a little couple of drops of water if you haven't got a lot of water, and you use the surface cleaner as well. Uh, just to clean your plates, your utensils and stuff like that. And talking of which, what I'll do is I'll stick my first aid IFAC pouch right here. Okay guys and girls. And I'll bring back into the picture my paper plates. Now, these paper plates, uh, actually these are the foam ones. I do have some paper plates as well. Uh, what I'm basically going to do, if you so, so basically you haven't got a lot of water, you want to chuck the, the plates away. Now some of the stuff you might want to clean it, okay? So use a dental surface cleaner, use these little um, expandable towels as well. Now I was going to show you something else. I have these uh, sporks right here, okay? Uh, basically spoon, fork, knife on there, so I can use these as well, and uh, let me just whack them on here. Now when you go into a shop, okay, come on CJ, he's crying, he's crying until he gets out. Now, when you go in shops, you get freebies, you get knives and forks, and I collect them, you know, I use them, I clean them, I reuse them. So remember to get that as well, guys and girls, again. I've got another little bag right here with a load of forks that I, if I don't use them I keep them, I put them in a little bag. In here I've got loads of knives and forks so you can use them as well. Don't chuck them away, recycle them, you know, you might get a takeaway. So it makes sense. Okay guys and girls, now moving on to the next bit. Sorry about the dog noise but, you know, that's life. Okay guys and girls, moving on. So people have been asking me and been asking me what what do I do about my dogs, dog food and stuff like that. I will come to the dog food in a little bit, but before I get to the dog food, I basically got a box in here full of stuff for my dogs. Okay, I've got medication. As some of you may know, Sam has got epilepsy. She was epileptic, but thank God she hasn't had a fit now for two years. So I'll still take give her meds right here. We've got some medication for her. Uh, got other stuff for her, creams for her skin, other stuff in here for her painkillers right there because uh, sometimes she gets stiff in the back legs. I mean she's she's over 10, she's going for 10 and a half soon. So basically in here I've got some medical gloves, okay, when I apply the cream. Some alcohol wipes if I've got to clean any wounds. Okay, she's got two viper pouches for her jacket, okay. In here you've got a light, a little red flashing light which I take out of here and put it on her jacket. Uh, so basically in here, uh, when we go out okay, uh, camping or when we go out somewhere for a stealth camping, I basically got some emergency food rations right in here for her. So uh, that's ready to go. I've been checking the dates, everything's good with that. And here, this is another little Viper pouch and basically in here I've got some more meds. So when I go out with Sam, you know, I've got various different meds. I've got some self-adhesive bandage right there, the blue one. I've got a couple of these blue self-adhesive bandages actually in this little pouch here. I've got more painkillers. I've got a torch on this side. Some more batteries, spare batteries right here. Okay. Um, some more bandages. A little, one of these stash pots right here with some more meds in it. I'm very handy, these little pots. Really cool. Put stuff in there. And uh, yes, I've got a little spare poncho to go with her, um, her jacket, just in case it really rains hard. So I've got a little orange poncho as well. I can use that for for signaling if I want. Tweezers for removing ticks and stuff like that. It's a basic little medication kit for Sam, um, but it's got plenty of adhesive uh, self bandage uh, bandage right here as well. Self adhesive rather. Okay, uh, torch lights and stuff like that. Okay, so basically when I take her out doing a bit of stealth camping, she's got a couple of little pouches with food and also I do believe I have a, some, some water purification tablets in here as well and some silver foil if I've got to make a makeshift 
um, bowl. Now, in some of my, my dog videos, if you see the adventure of Sam, uh, the adventures of Sam, Ixy, and CJ, watch this space. I've got a video coming out soon with more adventures of Sam, CJ, and Ixy, or Sam, Ixy, and CJ rather. Um, you'll see that I do have in one of my episodes. You see me pulling out this kind of drinking bowl. I do have a few of those. Um, actually, while we're here. Just bear with me guys and girls, here it is right here, I've got one here to show you, so I do got, I have got one of these, I've got one of these for Ixy as well as Sam, basically they fold up really nicely, nice and flat, they can go in your kits, okay, so I've got a few of those lying around the place, now moving on, this is Sam's, uh, this is all to do with Sam right here, he's got things like a dog passport in here, uh, some, some flea treatment right here, and all the receipts that I've been stuff that I've been getting for her treatment that she's been having, and actually got some news for you guys. Sam's actually having an operation. She's got a mammary uh, next to one of her teats that's got to be cut out. So please pray for Sam. She's in uh, operating theatre on the 25th of this month. So basically, I've got a letter right here saying no food uh, after. Let me see, 9 9 a.m. Sunday, 9 p.m. So after the operation, so please pray for Sam. She's been for a lot, my Sam. Let me just basically tidy this up as well. It's not an easy video because there's such a lot of stuff to talk about, but I'm getting through it, guys. So basically, yeah, just keep Sam in your prayers. She's going to recover well. I know she's, she's a tough old girl. So this is for Sam. And I've also got one of these now for CJ. Okay, so I'm going to be putting other little bits and bobs in there as well for CJ. That one's Sam's, that one's CJ's. Right, so in this box, it's all about, it's like an emergency kit for the dogs. So it's for winter, all year round, really. Okay, so some people are asking me, what do you do about your dogs? And basically in here, I've got more medication for Sam, more flea treatment, more painkiller right there. The, uh, let me see, and more painkiller right here, Melox, Meloxidol. Okay, there's a larger bottle in here. Okay, I'll come back to this stuff in here. So basically in here I've got worming tablets, flea treatment, more pills for the dog, and uh, other little bits and pieces, more medication for Sam there. Okay, now some of this stuff I can obviously use for little CJ, but he's not, uh, he's not epileptic, but I can still use things like bandages, uh, alcohol wipes, if need be. I've got, I've got bandages here. I will actually get some more of those self-adhesive, that's another reason why you should go for your kits guys, just to make sure and see what you need, what you don't need. Now every now and then Sam needs to have a urine test done, a little urine sample. So I've even got one of these, okay. I used to follow her around with a little takeaway uh, container like one of these. And she'd be looking around saying, what are you doing with that in your hand, you know. And then when she went down to do her business, I'd just quickly slip this there and get her a little urine sample in one of these. Okay, guys and girls, so the vets gave me one of these, but I'm thinking, well, that's really small, that is, you know. But Sam used to watch me, thinking, what are you up to? So, yeah, more medication here for Sam. Um, some, so that's kept in here, okay. This is also this funny contraption's kept in here as well. People saying, what is that, Costa? Anyway, um, so basically I'll stick that in there as well. So basically what I do, this, this stays outside of the box, this doesn't go in, in this box here, this stays outside in, in the kitchen cupboard, so, you know, and when I need stuff I just take it out of this box and put it in here for Sam, okay, so, also the paper bags that I get the meds in, I also recycle them, and Blue Cross have a little recycling bag in their place, and then when this fills up I just take it in there and say, here you go guys, some more paper to be recycled. Now. I think that about covers the med box. Like I said, I've just got to get a couple of bits and pieces for this uh, box right here. Some more self-adhesive bandages. So let me try and stuff all this stuff back in here now, guys and girls. Right. So there's another box full up of stuff. Okay, and again, it's not just for winter emergencies. All year round emergencies. Um, like prepper, pre pre um, prepared veteran. He was saying to me, what about dog food? Uh, what about having a uh, winter box for your dogs? So this is part of the winter box for the dogs, only a part of it. Okay, so there's another box, guys and girls. So this is the dog medication for all year round for emergencies for the dogs. Now, 
I'm not sure if you was hearing that growling. What was it, what it was was basically CJ sitting down next to Sam now. He's getting closer and closer with Sam. Like I was saying earlier, watch this space. There's another video coming of the dogs, you know, CJ's first time in Regent's Park. So I don't know if you've been he hearing the growling in the background or crying in the background. That's basically the way the dogs communicate with each other. Anyway, there's another box, guys and girls. Let me find a lid. So there's another one. To chuck, to chuck onto the other pile of boxes that I've got on the side here. So moving on guys and girls to the next lot. So like I was saying guys and girls, I have the tin food for Sam right here. I have 24 tins. Um, Anonzi was saying that she has 21 days food supply. Now with all this stuff right here and what I've got in the kitchen, I reckon I've got about in the house I reckon I've got about two months worth of food for the dogs in a, at a pinch you know in an emergency situation uh, the back the bag right here at the back um, I'm sure you can see the bag right at the back there actually let me just make some space okay I've got some dog mixer right here uh, actually let me start off with the complete dog food right here this is um, in here we've got three kilograms puppy food right here I've got some wag healthy from nose to tail beef and veg worker complete this is about five kilogram bag right here and I've got some dog mixer right there this is the saver the Morrison saver so basically I'll probably want to get a couple more of these and I probably want to get a couple more of these as well actually when I went to the supermarket the other day I did order some stuff some Arden grain stuff which I'm waiting for but I went to the supermarket the other day and these were the last two that they had there so I've got to get some more of these and also also they've gone up in price as well it seems that the you know the butchers it's also grain free tripe loaf recipes the dogs love it you got you got tripe mix in here you've got chicken you've got beef in here and the dogs absolutely love this stuff. So I'll probably get a couple more of these, okay? I'll probably have about 48 tins. And these will be for Sam. So if I've got 48 tins of these, I can basically give her one tin of, of these with a load of dog mixer as well, okay? And probably put a little bit of wag as well. And also within here, I've got seven kilos of rice. So I could probably, you know, I'll give her a little bit of a mixture of food, right? Sorry for showing you my back, guys and girls. So, the wag here, which is good stuff as well. And I've also got the puppy stuff here. I probably want to get another bag of this. But, like I said, I've got probably about two months worth of stuff here. And also for my bug out bags, I have these smaller portions. One butcher's beef, nourishing food for, for dogs. And one uh, lamb, okay, with sweet potato and peas this one's got sweet potato and peas this one's got carrots and peas because dogs yes they do like vegetables and then i do believe in these recipes there's vegetables in there as well okay not forgetting as well guys and girls some treats as well okay dogs do like treats some snacks so do we but so do dogs okay i'll stick that up there all right guys and girls now smackaroos i've run out of these i've got to put these on my shopping list and get some more of these Guys and girls, now I'm not sure how long the video has been going. Um, moving along, some dog litter bags as well. Now, you still the dogs are still going to be going to toilet, so I've got a load of these as well. I've got to order a couple more, but there's definitely loads here for about uh, 30 days more. I've got some more in the kitchen, but I've probably got to order some more of these. So remember your dog bags as well, guys and girls, as well as your snacks. The dogs do love the snacks. Right, and also, talking of bags, remember to have a load of bags as well, just in case you've got to bag up stuff. It's always good to have some extra bags as well in your prep, uh, in your kit as well, guys, in your stores. Right, now, uh, I'm trying to think now what to do next, guys and girls. So we've basically covered the box, okay? Let me just move the camera back a little bit, guys. Okay, guys and girls, so... I've removed the toilet paper, making more space in the winter box. As you can see in these couple, in this container here, this box right here, I've taken out stuff that was coming to its use by date, chickpeas and pasta, 
it's the peanut butter I've also added the some crackers in there as well as some um, some more peanut butter in the box I've added which is good for 2020 this peanut butter here um, it has to be used by I believe it's uh, August 2019 so I might as well just take it out and I stuck in a new one in here anyway so basically this container it's always good to have a basket as well if you can buy one of these so that when you go from your stores you can carry this into the to the kitchen or wherever you've got to go okay guys and girls so uh, basically I've got some porridge oats I renew I put another bag of porridge oats in the box uh, I had a lot of pasta in there so I put this in the cupboard I removed some of the tin stuff from in here I removed the, the, the dull meal sauce as well that's got to be used by uh, in a couple months I might as well take it out like I was saying the lentils I've put another one of these in here and I've got this one for the containers which you saw in part two okay guys and girls so basically this is the stuff right here uh, which I'm going to put in my cupboards now and uh, you know I've got to start using it okay the dog food I just told you about and I've just got something else to show you as well guys and girls so just bear with us okay guys and girls so basically I've just got a little example of a little pile of boxes right here um, these are fantastic boxes I picked up 10 like I was saying for a pound each okay remembering to get your little notepad and your pens okay it's just to write down on, on the piece of paper what you've got in the boxes right here. here in this case I've got some hygiene down the bottom here some first aid kit right here and at the top here I've got some dog medication okay just an example I just wanted to show you another little idea you know you get those uh, straps for your suitcases just to reinforce your suitcase when you go on holiday I thought to myself well why not get a few of these straps okay and these boxes haven't got an, um, it hasn't got one of those lock um, things to, to lock it down okay but if you put a box on on top of each other that will keep the lid closed now you know you might you might want to get some gaffer tape but I'm not going to muck about with gaffer tape and stuff like that which talking of which have some gaffer tape in your stores guys you know there loads of stuff loads of uses for gaffer tape okay I picked up a few of these so you know you can use it for sealing stuff but basically I wouldn't use it in this situation okay but just get get a few of these because they're very handy in loads of situations for repair and stuff okay so here's here's uh, this strap like I was saying to you go on Sam so basically um, you get this strap, you put it over your boxes, and that will that will just sit, cinch them nicely together. Now, if you are strong, you can pick up all three of those. Okay, okay, guys and girls, which I thought was a good idea. Now you might have three boxes with stuff that you want to grab at once, and it's got a strap on there, and you just pick it up like that. Okay, guys and girls. Now I'm trying to think what else to show you guys. So yeah, remember to just put a little note on each box what you got. Use one of these straps so that you can carry it, carry it around, or just make it nice and tightly closed. You can put, I suppose you can put, um, let me just actually tidy this up a little bit, turn it around, that would help. And uh, So basically I suppose you could put one this way, and one that way as well. And a good thing about that, if you want to get that, grab it, put it in your car, no problem okay that's another thing but I do have a trolley just in case you've got five now I think I can actually get four in this strap okay but in just in this example I just wanted to show you three right guys and girls moving on okay guys and girls uh, I got there in the end it's been a bit of a difficult video to do actually there's so many things to remember but food preps is so important you know probably the second most important thing on your list or the third but obviously the water is probably one of the most important things on our lists and um, I will be talking about water and how I store my water and solutions for water and in the next video in part four so I've got here to the end of this video so those of you who have got this far thanks a lot for staying with me uh, it's not been an easy video to do, plus with the dogs making noise, and plus, you know, making mistakes, they don't have a script, and plus there's so much gear on the table that, you know, once you start unraveling it, it really becomes like a bit of a mess, as you saw earlier in the beginning of the video, it looked like a bit of a mess. But yeah, 
we've been through the winter box, checked the dates, and as you can see, these two little containers right here, the basket and the box right here, it's got stuff now that I'm going to put into my kitchen cupboards, my pantry. The winter box is ready for 2020. Uh, other stuff is ready for 2020. There is stuff here as well, good for until 2021. So it's good to be ahead of yourself, guys and girls. It's good to be ahead. It's good to know what's in your kit. Go through your kit. Have a look at it. See what you can change. Get ideas from people. I want to say thank you very much to everybody that's given me ideas. Uh, thank you for the inputs. Uh, the Art of Prepping. Preparedness Vet. Uh, Anon Z. Grey Scout Tactical. Grey Scout Tactical, excuse me. Hoople's Cat. I want to say a thank you to every one of my friends out there. Uh, Awaken to Truth as well. You know who you are. Uh, Plymouth um, pen, Pens out there. And everybody that's given me ideas, um, Stefan, Mark, um, but there is a part four to this, so watch this space, guys and girls. So today's video has basically covered the food. And just one other thing before I go, Anonzi was asking me about the wood wood stove. The I've got a, a Tom Shoe folding stove. Uh, she asked me if I'm going to be using that for heating. If you scroll down in my video section and look in the titanium series, I do have a video on the titanium folding stove. Um, so basically just scroll down in my videos and have a look at that video. She asked me whether I'll be using that for heating. Now, as a last ditch, you know, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use that in the flat because there'd be so much smoke. But I suppose outside, maybe under a tarp, uh, we do have a basement in this block. So, you know, if I do have to set it up somewhere just to get some heat, maybe I can set it up near the window, but I suppose that defeats the point if you put it near the window because the heat will be escaping out the window. But yeah, check out the video. Go down in the video section and check out the Tom Shoe Titanium Folding Stove and you'll see, you know, a small review on that video. So I think I basically covered the, 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 this, this today. Uh, dog food other food solutions, storage solutions, as you can see the boxes here one on top of each other, the strap on the box as well, okay, the stove at the top there, the double burner, I do have a big gas canister in the kitchen and I do have other boxes with other little stoves, okay, so we covered first aid, we covered um, cutlery, we've covered so much stuff today, uh, I, I'm not even sure if I can remember everything at the moment. Right guys, well thanks again for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. If you want to like, share, subscribe, please do so. If you want to comment below, please do so. If you want to say to me, get get rid of this or put, add this or add that, please do so as well. I appreciate you all. just want to let you know. Uh, I'm thinking about you all. Take good care of yourself. Until the next video, thumbs up from me guys and girls. God bless you all and be careful out there. And remember to go through your stuff, check your dates, and just be prepared for whatever might come along. Take care, guys. Okay, before I go, guys and girls, I just quickly wanted to say um, thank you to everyone again. But also, I just wanted to mention the dog food. Uh, a couple of people have asked me um, about the dog food, because the, the, the dry dog food does have oil in it, so it's very difficult to store that. So I will be doing another short series in the future with the plastic buckets the food storage buckets and the mylar bags later on at some other point maybe next month uh, so keep your eyes on this space so now before I go and have a cup of tea I just wanted to say thanks again for everybody for your ideas uh, if there's anyone I left out forgotten about please forgive me but you know just remind me down in the comment section but yeah the art of prepping and on Z uh, Grey Scout Tactical HC Everybody I know, thanks very much for your ideas, Awaken to Truth, Plymouth Fens, um, everybody basically. Uh, also Sapper Gardener's back for anybody that knows him, he's got another name of his channel, okay, so uh, check out below, I'll, I'll leave some links below for you guys. And also I just wanted to say a quick um, well done to a Preparedness Vet who's done a video recently on water, so scroll down, I'll leave a little link below. I will be doing a video, like I said earlier, on water and how I store it and stuff like that. So if I will leave a link below for Preparedness Vet. Check out his latest video on the water solution, what he does. Uh, he's done a fantastic little video there. Also, prep, uh, also, please sub to his channel. 
Uh, it's got a great channel, great stuff on radiation, uh, MBC, how to put on the clothing, how to don the clothing, precautions to take. You know, check out his videos, check out his channel, give him a sub, and you know, you know, we've got to, we've got to stick together, guys. You know, who else we got? You know, the people. It's just the people. We've got us. We've just got us, guys. You know, and God is with us. So no fear, guys. Anyway, thumbs up from me. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. I'm going to show you stuff in here that I've got. I've basically got a blood pressure monitor, full, fully automatic. Okay, in my first aid box right here, which is part of the my preps. Okay, and I've got one of these as well for resuscitation right here, ready to go, brand new one. Oh.